Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check whether a number is a palindrome number or not. So if you ask me, like if you need to check a string, whether, whether it is a palindrome or not, we just simply reverse the string and we check with the initial or the original string. Same process that we are going to do here. So we are having a number. We need to just reverse the number and check with the original number. So that's what we are going to do here. And let's get started. So first, let, we are just going to get a number from the uh, say input from the user. So let n be the number, okay? And uh, let me see out. Uh, enter number okay and just put an endl okay and c in n okay and here we are just going to reverse the number okay i will just write the code okay and i will just explain with the demo so that you can be clear so we will be having a while loop n greater than zero so for reversing a number what we are going to do is basically like we will just split the number into separate digits suppose it has one to one means we will first take 1, 2 and 1 and we will just multiply with 10 uh, depending upon the position, okay, if it's 1's place, 10's place or 100's place. So if you just say like this, you, it, will, it will be blank for you. I will just write this code and I will show you a live demo, okay, how it works. So let, uh, first we will, to break the digit, okay, so whatever may be the growth, this, this code is same for like many programs like Armstrong number, reversal number, sum of digits. This one line of code is like common for all these programs. That is... Uh, I will have an integer, okay, int r. So this will be the remainder, okay. This is the code to break a digit, okay. You have a digit from a particular number. That is n mod 10, okay. We will be getting the last okay, digit, okay. And this is the another digit to eliminate the last number. n equal to n slash 10. So this, okay, this basically will get us the last digit. And this code, line of code, basically helps us to eliminate the last digit. So these two are like, this entire block is common for like code, as I told you earlier, Armstrong number, sum of digits, reverse number, this, this code, this while loop and these two lines are common. Only the middle part is going to change for these programs, okay? So here we are going to reverse a number. So for that, what we are going to have is, we will be having a sum. Sum is nothing but a, like, it is used to store our reversed number, okay? So we will be having sum equal to sum asterisk 10 plus r. Okay, I know it will be like very really blank for you. I will just run this code now. I will check and run this code now and I will then explain the code with a demo. Okay, so don't worry. And if, but here we are still having a problem. So our problem is that our n will become, at the end of this iteration, our n will become zero. Okay, so we need to help get the value of n again. So we need to compare with some. Some will have the reverse number, but our n value is zero. So for that, what we need to do is we need to store our uh, n in a temporary variable, okay, temp equal to n, and now after this loop, we will be checking if uh, temp equal to, if temp equal to sum, okay, we will just see out palindrome number, or uh, we will just put an else, and see out not palindrome number so uh, that's the code i guess that's it so if i just i will just now run an example okay i will just run it and i will just give you a demo so that you can be clear it's just simple okay if you have run armstrong number and uh, other code if you other like some of this is going to be like it's really a piece of cake but i will just run the output and i will show you a demo okay so i'm just comparing and running so is there any error i think there isn't any error okay using namespace study. Okay, so one to one. Uh, if you reverse one to one, we will be getting one to one also. So it is a palindrome number. So I'm getting palindrome number. That's fine. And let me run another example and check. Uh, another palindrome number. I will put five zero zero five because if you reverse also, you will be getting five zero zero five. So it's a palindrome number. That's fine. And I just now put a non palindrome number. Maybe one, two, three. So it's not a pandemic number. That's external. That's fine. So now I will show you a demo. Okay. So let us take uh, here as example as 121 itself. Okay. So our number is going to be 121. That is our n is going to be 121. So what happens here is that during the first iteration, okay, our uh, n is 121. So 121 is greater than zero. The condition is true. So it will go over here. R equal to n mod 10. That is R equal to 121 mod 10 this basically will give us the remainder okay modulus operator gives the remainder so 120 is what divisible by 10 
here we have 121 so we will be getting 1 as the remainder so our r value is going to be 1 and next what happens here is that sum equal to our sum is 0 okay our sum is 0 okay so it's going to be sum equal to 0 as 10 is going to be 0 so here we will have we'll be having a 0 0 plus r okay 0 plus our r so our r value during the previous iteration is 1 so it's going to be 1 over here, here also so so sum is going to be 1 here is the main part okay as I told you, this n equal to n selection basically like eliminates the last character. It does same here also. n equal to 121 slash 10, which will give 12 because it just this slash operator returns the quotient only. So it gives 120 is divisible. So 120, uh, 10 12 are 120. So we'll be getting 12. Just a quotient, okay? Simple. So that's why I told you this more or less is gives the remainder or a digit, and this gives the quotient or just eliminates the last digit. Same thing. So our n is we stole now again. So this is during the first iteration. Okay. Now during the second iteration, as you can know, our n value becomes stole from here. Okay. So our r will be overwritten. Okay. R equal to and the condition is true because twelve is greater than zero. R equal to n mod ten. That is twelve mod ten. So twelve mod ten will give us two because only ten is divisible and we have twelve over here. So r is now two. And what happens here is that sum equal to sum asterisk ten. We are having sum as 1, okay. So it's going to be 1 asterisk 10 plus r, okay. And our r value here is 2. So it's going to be plus 2. So it's going to be 1 asterisk 10, that is 10. And this is 2, so it's going to be 12. So our sum is 12. And here also the same thing is going to happen. Second addition n equal to 12 slash 10, our quotient is 1. So now our, our n becomes 1, okay, at the end of the citation, and it'll go, it goes again over here n equal to 1 condition is true because 1 is greater than 0 and r equal to uh, 1 mod 10 okay here you have to be very careful because 1 mod 10 is not 0 it is 1 so it's 1 and here in the same process sum equal to sum asterisk 10 here our sum is 12 so it's going to be 12 asterisk 10 plus r our r over here is 1 okay so it's going to be 1 which is equal to 12 asterisk 10 is 120, 120 plus 1 will give us 121. So at the end, our sum will have the reversed number, okay? So that's why here we are checking sum, okay? And here is the main change, okay? n equal to 1 slash 10. Here we are getting 0. 1 more 10 uh, is 1 and 1 slash 10 is 0. So you have to be very careful over here. And finally, our n becomes 0. It will go over here. At the end, n will be equal to 0 because n is 0 and this condition will fails. Because 0 is not greater than 0 and this while loop gets terminated. So you can ask me why you use temp uh, because now I hope you are, you are like familiar with the reason why I used temp because our n has literally become 0. So you can't use n to check with our sum. Okay, so that's why we need to assign our n with a temporary. Okay, it's really important to do that. If you assign means you can check the uh, temporary variable which will have the same number. Okay, you can check with the sum. Okay, the sum. So if it's reversed means it will be, it will be having the same number. If it is like uh, not a palindrome number, means it will have some other digit. So that's simple. If you just check, we'll be getting palindrome number, not a palindrome number. That's simple. So I hope you would have found this video useful. And I've done many tutorials in C, C, Python, Java, Blender, the discrete animation, and Unity. So it will be really great if you could uh, subscribe my channel and support me. And also check other videos of my channel. Thanks for watching.